Welcome to the Overlook Motel, a place where underseen and unappreciated films are given their moment in the spotlight. I am pleased to be singing the praises of the woefully underseen zombie comedy Dance of the Dead on this installment of the Overlook Motel. Dance of the Dead is a witty flick that features a great cast of characters and strikes a smart balance between horror and comedy. Dance of the Dead unfolds on prom night and follows a motley crew of high school students as they team up in an attempt to stave off the zombie apocalypse. There are many reasons Dance of the Dead works as well as it does, but possibly the most important component here is a stellar screenplay from Joe Ballerini. The characters are likable and the jokes effective. Ballerini took some risks and made some unorthodox choices, but that paid off. One such example sees the teen protagonists learning that the undead are inexplicably drawn to the musical stylings of a local garage band. Remarking on that discovery, one of the band members likens the situation to the zombies being like bees and the music holding a position of importance similar to the influence a queen has on her hive. The film's humor is off the wall and even weird, but it works surprisingly well. Is he done yet? Not yet. Ballerini's screenplay is in great hands with director Greg Bishop. Bishop brings the material to life in a light and comical fashion that sees the majority of the jokes landing. Because of the light tone and ever-present humor, the film has the potential to appeal to those outside of the horror crowd. This is the type of genre fair I might show to a group of friends that don't always appreciate horror movies. Sure, it's a bit goopy at times, but the whimsical tone all but ensures a good time will be had by all. In addition to a great screenplay and solid direction, Dance of the Dead also benefits from a talented cast. In fact, even the supporting players without a lot of dialogue or a proper arc are legitimately funny. That's a testament to the acting chops and comedic timing of the entire cast, as well as to Bishop's ability to strike a tonal balance that allows the humor to hit just right. While Dance of the Dead does feature the kind of archetypal characters you'd expect from a high school horror movie, there's a sort of breakfast club energy that sees the members of different cross-sections of the high school cast system coming together to stave off the apocalypse. And that works surprisingly well. In fact, if John Hughes had made a zombie comedy, it might have looked something like this. Though Dance of the Dead received a certain amount of acclaim from critics upon release and even cleaned up on the festival circuit, it has sort of faded into obscurity since its 2008 debut. The flick's release strategy didn't include a theatrical exhibition or a great deal of marketing, so the picture landed quietly on DVD without a lot of fanfare. Dance of the Dead certainly has its fans, but it's a shame it hasn't garnered wider recognition as the brilliant horror comedy that it is. Thanks for checking in. That's all for this installment of The Overlooked Motel. If you're keen to chat more about overlooked and underappreciated cinema, you can find me on Twitter at FunWithHorror.